we've talked together before in satsang, so maybe you've heard him before, because in, I think it was the middle of August, middle of August, he had such a moment. He had something opening up. Actually, it was in this meeting. And um, this opening hasn't really closed down. In fact, it's continuing now. So middle of August, middle of September, yeah, two months now. And so in this two months, Shiva's been through some kind of strong moments, which he possibly can talk about tonight. Are you able to talk? Yeah. So and when we've tried before, he was still very much in the kind of heat of this opening. And uh, in this, this meeting, he found it very difficult to talk. I mean, this is, in a way, one of the symptoms that if it really happens, you can't easily talk. And even possibly, you can't easily function. Maybe your arms don't move, your legs don't move. It may be you actually in the beginning, when it's very, very strong, it could be that your physical body doesn't really function. Um, and for sure, it may be that you can't really talk. I think for you, it, your body was all right, was it? You didn't? Not always. Not always. Sometimes no. I can't move. Yeah. 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 Is there mm. anything, any new things going on? It's more grounded. And still don't, don't have much thoughts. And I don't know, it's like permanent. You can't actually say what it is. What is it? <laughs> yeah. I think probably last time we spoke, you were still having a lot of uh, energy, strong energies passing through you, kind of vibrating your body. Some people might call it kind of kundalini experience. Mm. Has that become less now? I still have this shaking sometimes. Yeah. It's still going. At some moment, like maybe one week ago, it's a bit stopped. It became less, but I don't know, this week I have again this shaking. And it's mostly when I just sit yeah, quiet and close my eyes when we eat or sit, meditate. Yeah. Just when I when I function, it's okay, but when I sit and just maybe close my eyes or just take a break, it might start something like, I don't know what it is. And, and although you can't really think very much, you can, um, for example, you're working at the moment on editing film material. Mm. So although your thoughts are not there, your intelligence is still working. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, you function well. You don't need to think to do something if, you know. And this is probably what changed, yeah, that you don't. And it's, for the body, it's more, it's more relaxed, yeah, because you don't waste a lot of energy to, with this thinking. Yeah. It's permanent quiet. I mean, could some thoughts may come, but... I don't know, you don't get involved on in something like this. Sometimes touching. Mm. Mm. Sometimes I, I try to think, yeah, but try to to put in some words, but it doesn't work. <laughs> mm. Maybe peace. And when you would look inside, like now, for example, or looking inside now, mm. do, you, do you get something like I was describing in the paragraph I read? Do you get some kind of black, luminous, uh, shiny space without a boundary? Or maybe you can describe what you get.
can't find this like for me it's this insight is everything I could see yeah? like everything that I observe now this is insight and if you close your eyes Yeah, you might say it's like infinite darkness. Yeah, but with open eyes, it's the same. I mean, all everything exists inside this space. Yeah. I mean, I think I. I don't have, like what I also notice that you don't have this. You don't know who you are. I mean, you don't have this identification with the body. It's also kind of change. I mean, it's tricky. It's like you can, in some moments, you can feel everything, like yeah, emotions, body, and same time, if you like, you can switch. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. At same time, is this and not this? When I walk, definitely no. <laughs> when you I definitely don't think. Definitely don't think and don't. I'm not this body for sure. I wow. mean, and now I don't feel myself like a body. It's very present, very, I don't know. Yeah, you could say it's very hard to, to explain this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is something a bit interesting. I mean, we are connected here in this room because probably. I mean, most of us have actually know this for at least some moments, yeah? And if you know it, you know it. And if you don't know it, it's hard for anybody to explain it to you. This is a kind of strange thing about truth. Mm -hmm. That when, when you're there in truth, you, you absolutely know it. It's absolutely clear without any um, hesitation. But when you're not there, it's impossible to explain. Yeah, it's like chocolate, yeah, or I don't know, whatever, mango. <laughs> Try to explain it, but... Try to explain, yeah, the taste of a mango. You see, the only way you can taste a mango, to, well, the only way you can really experience the taste of a mango is when you take a mango and take a bite, yeah? You have to really experience it by, by eating it. And however clever somebody would be, it's really, really hard to give you a sense of the taste of a mango just from describing it. It's kind of impossible, you can say. And this is a kind of big paradox with truth, that when you know it, when you are it, it's almost impossible to express it. And when you're not it, and you don't know it, you have all kinds of theories, maybe, about how it's going to be. You see, but th th these theories don't have any meaning, really. So actually, uh, Shiva uh, is a kind of interesting example of this, because in his own work, he was working with uh, computer software. I don't know exactly what he was doing, but anyway, he's one of these people with a particular kind of brain, and he could do this very complex uh, whatever they do with software, getting it to work. And so this is kind of where he's coming from, if you like, in, so in some ways. Yeah? And now suddenly he doesn't have this, this thinking anymore, but he can still do this kind of complex functioning, which actually lots of us, me included, we probably couldn't manage. It's very funny that you can talk, I mean. You don't have thoughts yet to, to put it in some words. It's just not possible. And 
in the past, um, you've been telling us that you did a lot of meditation. Have you had what I'm calling glimpses, where you had a kind of opening for some time, and then it, it closed again? Mm. I had a very strong one, like, many years ago, when I was 25, but when I started meditating, maybe like, few years ago or maybe one and a half year ago I had this moment like maybe in the f when I just met some teachers I went maybe to few satsangs and start meditating and just sit and I had this moment when mm, I did the self-inquiry maybe even first time yeah I was like who's who who's feeling this or who's yeah, who who sees this thought and I look inside and I like there was like like a deep hole, yeah, like just boom. And it scared me like instantly. Like the answer like I get, I got the answer is that like nothing, yeah. Who who nothing. And and it was next second it was like scare. Because you like back to the body. I had this very short glimpse in my one of the first meditation. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And I and afterwards, when I did a lot of meditation, I think I had something similar. Yeah, what I feel now. But I have this doubt. I mean, there also was like some quiet thought who tried to like, which has doubt have doubts and it was very quiet I, I got very quiet mind I did like two times maybe for one and a half two hours two times per day morning evening I did it many times like for half a year I was really a lot of meditation did a lot of meditation and it really helps I mean in one week you can see the difference in a few weeks and it's quite similar but there was some doubts but now I don't have doubts and I don't do anything yet to to keep this silence I mean it's just there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I heard many times before yes yeah, that like quiet mind is like it's probably like is what it's all you need like from yeah, yeah, like Nisargadatta, puppets, like all these teachers, they said it's very simple. And basically, when you don't have thoughts, that's it, yeah? But you, I don't know, some, somehow you have doubts before. This is partly because we've been given examples, like I was saying in the meeting this afternoon, Osho described his moment as a thousand suns exploding. Yeah. So, we are a bit conditioned by, you know, Jesus, Buddha, Osho, mm. um, who describe their moment in these kind of very fantastic uh, uh, terms. Yeah? Mm. And then, you know, our little kind of uh, quiet glimpse doesn't really compare with a thousand suns exploding, and <laughs> therefore we have doubts about our glimpse, yeah? because we think, oh, well, it's not good enough. Have to wait until a thousand suns explode. I was waiting for something. Yeah. Mm. I read a lot about this uh, Satori and Samadhi yeah, from different masters, and it's a very strong moment, like they describe. Yeah, and I was like, kind of waiting. I don't know <laughs> what else. Yeah, I had a lot of like ideas. How? What? What is it? Because yeah. It's very unclear. And now you would look back, can you see that your ideas were kind of off the track? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. I mean, because there was like someone, yeah, who, who was like some sick or search, yeah. But it's opposite. It's when. Yeah, you could say that you don't know anything now. 
Yeah, and I think along with not knowing anything, there's a kind of feeling like I don't really care to know anything. Yeah. And it's so funny when I see like people, I don't know, have some dramas. I will, <laughs> sometimes I want to say something, but I can't. Like, yeah. I, mean, mm -hmm. I mean, you just, it's coming because you believe that, believe your thoughts, yeah, believe that you choose something or you do something, but it's not like this. I could say, I could see uh, mm. it just happening to you and you just <laughs> do nothing from this point, from this space, yeah. and no drama. It's such a big joke. <laughs> <laughs> 